Let's take a look at the 2012 new models. This video here is going to be the new models that were real cars. Uh, the, now the new models, there were 50 different new models. So I'm going to break them up into three categories. I'm going to have real cars. Then I'm going to have 50 new models that were Mattel creations. And yeah, I know the uh, the div. This is based on a div co a real car, but it's a. Uh, I'm going to put it over in the fantasy creations of new models. And then I will have a third group that's kind of like a TV properties or other special releases. So look for these in a separate video, as well as the fantasy models that were new models in a separate video. This video here is for the new models that were realistic cars. The Lamborghini Aventador. It was available in two colors. Um, personally I like the silver one better. Now I'm going to go ahead and show the backs of the cards too because uh, international viewers they don't get this. Here in the US this is what our packages look like. Now as I go through these there's going to be a lot of cars. You know kind of a Keep an idea of what you find to be your favorite cars, or maybe uh, there was something you didn't find, you know, post a comment. Participate in the discussion. I'm not doing these in any particular order, but I do have them kind of in groups, as I'm sure you'll be able to tell. The Bentley Continental Super Sports, I had a hard time finding this one myself. It was not, uh, seemed to not be in plentiful supply, or maybe I just wasn't uh, going out hunting off hunting often enough. Got the headlights and taillights, very cool. Up next, let's take a look at the another white one. The uh, Porsche Boxster Spider was also released in white. Has a nice, uh, nice graphics there. No tail lights, but it did get the side graphics and the headlights. Here's the uh, back of the package. Two colors were produced. You got your uh, white and you got your red. Up next, the 458 Spider. Always nice to get these in the lineup. Two colors were produced. You got the uh, nice yellow version. Got the headlights. No tail lights. Got the nice Ferrari logo on the side. These are the two colors that were available. Red and yellow. Up next, let's take a look at the Beamers that were in the lineup. Here we have the BMW 2002. It was released in two colors. Let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, back of the package. Now you guys can pause it. I'm not going to, I can't stick around forever. Video is going to be long enough as it is. Two colors were released of the BMW 2002. Now um, orange may not be realistic, but it's uh, nice to have a variety in the lineup. Up next, we had two colors of the BMW Z4 M. I think uh, I think that's what it says. Here we have the uh, black version. We'll take a look at the card on the back of the white one. And then let's go ahead and compare the two. Same graphics. One black, one white. This one's all right. Let's see. The other BMW, there was another BMW actually. <laughs> Got the same two colors. I don't know if uh, BMW has a thing with their licensing to where it ha has to be black or it has to be white. But uh, it's, it is nice to have BMWs back in the lineup. They were gone for a long time. Here we have the back of the card. And we'll compare the... Uh, give you a peek at the white one. The Mazda RX-7 was met with uh, quite a bit of fanfare for those people who like uh, imports, the Japanese cars. Definitely uh, definitely cool to uh, get these. 
Now there, there was a, I think this is the one where there was a white one, but it was only a Kroger's, I mean it was only in these little uh, foil packs. This video is only going to be for basic cars that were released on the single packages. And uh, I think they were, I think they're available in all markets. You a fan of the Japanese craze? You uh, happy they brought these in? Uh, I liked it. As you can tell, I got every color. Up next, let's take a look at the Subaru WRX STI. Now, as you can see, the top one has red stripe wheels. That was a Walmart exclusive. It was not available internationally. But the uh, Subaru WRX STI did come in two colors in uh, most markets in the world. So, I'll give you a close-up of those uh, red tires. Very nice. And uh, here's the uh, card for my international viewers. There was uh, only one VW in the lineup this year. A new model, 2012 Volkswagen Beetle. Got a uh, black roof in the back of the card. Next! Harley Davidson Fat Boy. Two colors were available. I'm not a big fan of uh, motorcycles, but it is nice to have a variety in the lineup. And yes, I do buy at least one of each release as far as uh, uh, castings go. I normally do not get every single color, but for the purposes of this channel, I do buy try to get every car just so that I can make uh, interesting videos for you guys. Have some discussion. Up next, let's take a look at the little red wagon. The 78 Dodge Little Red Express pickup. Now, uh, this one is based on a Dodge. I don't think you could buy it in, uh, you know, in the stores with those stacks. Correct me if I'm wrong. I, isn't that based off of a uh, a racer or somebody? I forget. That's why it has the uh, logo on the side. Could be mistaken. I'm not sure. I've just seen this car. Johnny Lightning had a version of it. This one's alright for a $1 model. The 10 Toyota Tundra came in two colors. Personally, I prefer the black version here. Yellow one's just a little off for me. It's kind of nice that you can see the uh, light bar on top better in the yellow version. The black version is kind of hard to see the light bar on the top because it's practically the same color as the cab. Interesting as I'm looking at my yellow one here, I got a, uh, I got a hair on the door. I don't know if you can see see the hair right there on the door. I don't know. I think this one got uh, this one got a little scuffed up. Not only that, look at the uh, tampo. Where's the R in the racing? It looks like they got some type of a debris when they were painting it. And then they just, I don't know what's going on there. Because as you look here on the uh, black version, see how it says uh, racing right there in the R red? This one got all messed up. Something's there. Did I show you the back? Just in case, I better just show it. Here we have the 71 Hemi Cuda. Nice model. I'm kind of done with this though, because a lot of companies, and especially Hot Wheels, seems like they make this car a lot. Maybe kind of a slightly different uh, body styles but uh, eh, it's enough of, enough for me up next let's take a look at the 2013 Viper SRT I like this one pretty pretty paint job here we have the 69, I think it says, yeah, 69 Mercury Cyclone. This one's pretty cool. 
This one reminds me a lot of the uh, Chevrolet SS, which will be uh, coming up. All right, Ford fans, hang on, we're coming. Not exactly the Ford I'm sure most of you were wanting to see if you're uh, over here on the uh, Western Hemisphere. But, very nice sporty car, two colorways. Blue and white. Let's go ahead and take a look at the back. Yeah, that's why the Australian guys like it. Laguna Seca. Yeah, this is the one you guys are more looking for. Guys are looking forward to. That was a what is that? Grabber blue, I think you guys call it. Very nice. That's definitely the uh, uh, my favorite color. The black one and red is second. This uh, silver gray kind of version. Didn't like it. Not my thing. That's why when I do my uh, power tower and stuff, <laughs> that's why I use that version in there. Because it's not my favorite color. The other two I'm going to save for maybe downhill racing or something. The 64 Chevy Chevelle SS. For this just kind of being just a, a basic car, nothing real splashy about it, no fancy graphics or nothing, this car is one of my favorites of the year. I don't know why, it just kind of looks a little like it's ready to race. Simple. How about you guys? Really liked it. Definitely one of my favorites of the year. <laughs> you wouldn't think so if you if you uh, if you watch my videos you wouldn't think it'd be my favorite of the year for new models but really really like it I'm a big fan of the Camaros too the uh, Camaro 12 Camaro ZL1 now if you international guys uh, don't know where the yellow one came from that's because in the US it was a Kroger exclusive now it's available at Kroger stores and Kroger has other related stores like uh, Ralph's. I think it was also f found at uh, Food for Less. But yeah, that yellow one's pretty special to get. There were definitely lots of Camaros in the lineup this year. Not too many uh, Fords, but definitely lots of Chevy, uh, Com Chevys and Camaro products. The silver one is definitely my favorite out of the two for these two. It was a nice model. I don't. This is a kind of style I like to uh, collect. I don't know. I don't know if there's a general name for it, but uh, definitely like this. And the Camaros were very nicely done. Up next, we have the another Camaro. We have the 685 Chevrolet Camaro IROC Z. As you can see, there's uh, two black ones here. That's because one wound up being a Walmart exclusive. It had the uh, Hot Wheels window banner. Only a couple of the models, new models, were chosen for the exclusive window banner treatment. Exclusively at USA Walmart stores. Sure seems like Walmart gets the uh, cooler variations, I'll tell you that. That's because uh, I'm sure they're their number one seller of uh, Hot Wheels. I think this is the one I showed at the beginning of the video. Chevrolet SS. I think I call the Opala down there in Brazil. Nice color. Nice stance. Very, very nice car. Love, 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 love this model. Here's another car that got uh, special treatment. You got the uh, 61 Impala. Blue version is very nice. And here you got uh, two red ones. And as you can tell, the, the uh, one right here got the Hot Wheels window banner. So that was a Walmart exclusive. How about a Corvette? Only one Corvette for the year. 
the 12 Corvette Z06. You know it was the only one for the year. It's very classy. Some lady had a, I was at a gas station and some lady drove up in one of these cars and she had it all decked out like uh, she was racing it. Uh, it was pretty loud and it was pretty awesome. Now this one reminds me of the, uh, the Camaros that I was showing you before. The Pontiac Firebird. Two colors. Kind of an odd green. But nice because it's a different variety for the lineup. And this uh, orangish red kind of color. Again with the Firebird logo. And the last two for the uh, new models that were uh, realistic cars were the uh, two colors of the 71 Plymouth Roadrunner. So, which ones were your favorite to collect for the year? Yeah, I said you. I meant to say your favorite. Getting a little tongue-tied. Which were your favorite of the year to collect? I had quite a few. But my top two were the Lamborghini Aventador and the 64 Chevy Chevelle. Don't forget, I'll have uh, links down below or click on the vehicle to see the other two categories that I'm breaking down the new model segment. The uh, like entertainment and special releases, click on Redbird. Or for the uh, fantasy releases, click on the Highway Hauler 2. Thanks. Bye-bye.